cool. Sometimes the most seemingly simple things in your house end up being some of the most complicated. Like what? Take, for example, rubber bands, or gum bands as we call them around here. These everyday household items have been in junk drawers and even office supply closets for nearly 200 years. They were invented back in 1845. What could possibly be interesting about a rubber band? Well, hold it under your lip and stretch it out carefully. Do you feel anything weird? It's warmer. Not only does it feel warmer, a rubber band actually heats up when you stretch it. We can see this in action with a thermal imaging camera. As the rubber band is stretched, it heats up. And when you let it go back into its resting position, it literally cools down. Weird, it does feel cooler. What's happening? A thing called entropy. Entropy is the measure of the amount of energy unavailable to do work. What does that even mean? Funny, a teenager asking me about the energy unavailable to do work. That's not funny. The polymers, or chains of molecules that make up the rubber bands, look like an entangled pile of rubber bands, or even a plate of spaghetti when they're in their resting state. This is where they have a higher entropy, a higher amount of energy that is not available to do work. This is how a rubber band naturally wants to be. When you stretch them, the rubber band's polymers stretch into ordered chains because work is obtained from ordered molecular motion. Since we're doing the work to stretch the rubber band and put those polymers in order, we are adding energy to the rubber band. That extra energy causes the molecules to move more rapidly, giving off heat. How do you know it's just not your body heat warming up the rubber bands? Scientifically, the opposite should be true. If you let the rubber band's polymers or molecules go back to their higher entropy state or become unstretched, they should absorb that heat energy and become cooler. This is something that we can see with the thermal imaging camera and feel with our skin. And you'll notice that we did use glasses since we're using rubber bands close to our face. Remember, always protect your eyes. And always use a clean rubber band. That's very important. That's why I gave my dad the one that fell on the floor. What? Reporting from home. I'm Elizabeth Petlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin. Don't worry, I use the five minute rule. It's the five second rule. Oh, that failed. <laughs>